Hi everybody, my name is Liz Ash. I'm an ultrasound radiologist here at Brigham Women's and we're going to be learning about point of care ultrasound in neonatology today. Okay, does anybody want to be our model patient? All right, so we're going to use plenty of gel to make sure we get rid of that air. We've verified that we have the correct patient. Some people, what they do for ultrasound is they just put in a um, text. You can see it is really small there. That says two IDD, which means two IDs verified. If you put two IDV, that's an ultrasound way of saying you've verified two IDs for the patient, so before you do the procedure. And then sometimes we even just put text right in the middle that says timeout to document that we took to the timeout before we do the procedure. So you're holding the probe with your right hand. So it doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed. Both of your hands are working. Your left hand operates the machine and your right hand holds the probe. That's just by convention, but people who are left-handed are really good at ultrasound. So <laughs> stick with it. So you're going to put your right thumb on the notch, and then we're going to either be transverse to the patient so that the other convention actually is that you always stand on the patient's right side if they're supine. We do that a little differently for the heads, you'll notice, because we have to accommodate the isolate and the equipment, but in general, you're on the patient's right, and your thumb is either to the patient's right side, which is your left, but don't think about that, or the patient's head, okay? We're using the gel to get really good contact, and if we're going to look for a vessel, we want to make sure, first and foremost, that we're putting this catheter in a vein, not an artery, because you really don't want to give TPN into an artery, right? So if you want our help, you know, if you're saying we are not sure what we're looking at, we're not sure where this line is, or we found something, we don't know what it is, take the images and we can look at them, but it really helps if they're labeled and if they're acquired by convention with the probe facing the correct direction. So that's really important. In general, my personal philosophy is I do not like to see text on the image because I don't want it to interfere with something I might need to see. So we usually put the text up here in this top left corner. And when you do that, so you can put in... Oh, there's the text comments. 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 <laughs> and then this shows up and you just move it, Got it. Okay. up to where you want it. Works so well, people love. <laughs> and then you get these choices so you don't even have to type. There is some typing here if you yeah. want. But if you just want to click vein, it'll just auto-populate it. So that saves you some typing.